uh, wananchi nyote ya mjambo uh, mimi ndio shimu the glaji bila wamesema kwa tutaheshimu familia hatuleta siasa kwa hii mkutano na wacha nianze na familia ya Francis rafiki yangu wa miaka mingi sana kwa niaba ya marafiki zako wote kwa niaba ya family zetu family za marafiki zetu tunatakia nyinyi nyote wewe nganga unaongoza hii family Brian Brandon na wengine wote na familia tuna watakia Mungu awapatie nguvu huwa wakati mgumu ambao mnapitia hamko peke yenu hata sisi kwa sababu ya rafiki wetu Lucy amekuwa rafiki yetu pia wa karibu familia zetu kwa hivyo naomba Mwenyezi Mungu aiweke roho ya dada yetu Lucy mahali pema peponi na ningependa kusifu father yule alitupatia Samuel ya leo words of wisdom na nimekuwa nikiongea hii mambo mara mingi hata mbele ya rigiji tukiwa ukambani na kila mahali kifo cha huyu dada yetu ambaye analala hapa chini ni ishara kubwa kwa kila mmoja wetu atakufa ninyi nyote mmekaa hapa utakufa sisi sote ni maiti watarajiwa tulikuwa na mzee hayati jomo kenyata alikufa mzee moi akafa mwai kibaki akafa retired president wetu atakufa current president wetu atakufa rigiji utakufa mimi nitakufa waititi utakufa kabaga utakufa kila mtu hapa atakufa hiyo ndio sambon ambao pastor alisema sote sisi ni wapita njia kwa hii dunia tutamfuata dada yetu na wale ametutangulia wapo tunapokaa kwa hii dunia tufikirie kufanyana mambo mema mambo mazuri na father ulisema tusionge mambo mingi kuhusu Francis but nitaongea kwa niaba ya marafiki wale wako hapa Francis mimi nilijiona na yeye kutoka mwaka wa 1999 na kwa ufupi tu kidogo nakumbuka sisi tulianza biashara na yeye mwaka wa 2000-2001 akiwa na showroom mdogo pale Muranga Road nilikuwa nimeenda hapo Muranga Road opposite kulikuwa na yadi inaitwa Kashewa Motors tuko na rafiki mmoja yetu hapa anaitwa Njau alikuwa manager wa pale so wakati Mungu alinibariki nilienda pale kununua magari kadhaa siku inayofuata ndiko natafuta magari kubwa kubwa Mercedes Land Cruiser za hiyo wakati so nikaenda kwa rafiki yangu Francis Nganga ah nikataka kununua Mercedes na Land Cruiser nilikuwa nimevaa short na slippers kaambia Nganga nataka hizi magari Nganga kanaambia wewe uko na kinyasa enda leta baba yako <laughs> ama yule amekutuma alitaki ubroka hapa tukavurugana kidogo nikaenda buruburu jioni eh, njao akakuja kauliza nga yule jamaa naona mmevurugana alikuwa anataka nini anaambia huyo ako na ma slippers kwani maana huyo anataka kurudua magari zangu nikamwambia enda leta baba yake njao akamwambia pana huyo ndio sango wa buruburu nga anasema sango wa buruburu so nganga akakuja usiku nyumbani yangu nyumbani kwangu akaniambia pole chukua hizi magari wewe utakuja kulipa kesho so kesho nikafuata nganga tukakuwa marafiki akaniuzia magari urafiki wetu kaanzia hapo after miaka mingi nakumbuka wakati mmoja uh, former late president Daniel Larap Moi akapata accident pale uh, junction ya Machakos akarol na Range Rover. So ile Range Rover baada ilipotengenezwa eh nganga akapewa iuze. Akanitia niko na gari ya moyo hapo na itaka kwambie yes. Nilikuwa na chapa mbaya sana. Nikaenda. <laughs> nganga akaniuzia 
Range Rover ya Moi nikanunua uh, akanipeleka kwa huyu rais wetu wa sasa ndio logbook alikuwa na jina lake kwa sababu yeye alikuwa anafanya biashara zote za rais Moi tukamlipa nikachukua gari ambaye niko nayo paka leo through nganga kwa hivyo rafiki wetu umekuwa miaka mingi huyu marehemu Lucy na bibi yangu na watoto wangu walikuwa marafiki wa karibu na hawa kina Brian kila holiday uh, mama alikuwa na biashara yake pale North Coast mkao inaitwa Salama Beach walikuwa kila holiday wanakulia pale ngaga naye alikuwa South Coast amenunua pale Shelly Beach so we were very close very tight na hii familia kwa hivyo sisi tumewachwa na Lucy na ile area Lucy mahali wamenunua nyumba na nganga Shelly Beach Likoni constituency amekaa na majirani wake vizuri sana watu mshirikia utadhani yeye ni politician na nakumbuka wakati nilifurushwa hapa Nairobi na former president na siasa mbaya maisha mbaya niliambia wewe ndio Mombasa Nairobi atukutaki so nikajaribu siasa yangu Mombasa nikaona inaingiana huyu ndio siriyo mnamwona amelala hapa Mwenyezi Mungu wake roho yake malipema peponi ali ni mbalenzia wananchi walikoni majirani zake crowd kubwa sana akawa anajaribu kuniombea kura lakini sababu ya siasa mbaya maisha mbaya kurekeshana chini nilipokuwa cleared na three bench Mombasa nisimame kama governor then kesho yake mbio mbio supreme court akasema hapana tutaka kusikiza kesi yako kesi ya mawakili zaidi ya 14 kushinda ile rigiji wakasema itasikizwa na siku moja judgment yandikwe na siku moja baada ya mtu anaitwa kotini hata submission zetu hatuja file rigiji alikuwa amefile zake mimi sikuwa nimefile kaambia lazima tusikize kesho yake nikaambia songo nyumbani haufai kufai mheshimiwa fama deputy president nimeona kiti liko mekwa hapo kuonekana uko peke yako hauko peke yako tuko pamoja umekuja kuendeleza na dada yetu kwenye kuogopa wacha waogope sisi hatutaka kukataa ulikuwa deputy president of the republic of kenya vile ulikuwa former governor vile tutaendelea kuwa former governor tutaendelea kukupenda sababu ulifanyia nchi kazi lakini kwa sababu ya sasa mbaya ulitolewa vile sisi tulitolewa we feel you former deputy president liwe lialo mwenye kuja kutaka kuelekelea makosa awekelee sisi mheshimiwa deputy president we are fan of cases tumekaa jela sana tukaitimu <laughs> na wacha ni kufundisha sheria kidogo kwa sababu naambiwa atakushakuwa impeached hautavai hiyo ni uongo kwa hiyo tito atakuwa atakuwa kwa ballot <laughs> katiba ya Kenya article 1 and 3 sub article 3 ita ya utaruhusu fadha kwa ufupi nipatie mheshimiwa rigiji moral 103 nasema any public officer I'm a state officer who shall be convicted of any offense or any decision kama ile ya kwa national assembly na senate hiyo ni sabatical 2 kwa uwezi ishikilia ofisi but ukienda chini 103 sabatical 3 inasema you shall be on the ballot because you have to exhaust all avenues of appeals or review kesi yako iko high court of kenya bado inaendelea kusikizwa wakikutupa nje bado utaenda appeal court of appeal hiyo ni miaka ingine tatu wakikutupa nje bado utaenda supreme court hiyo ni miaka ingine tano tuli tuseme nitakupata hapo kwa hivyo utakuwa kwa pale utusipe kama na mtu yote ule lakini usiki mbia sana enda tu pole 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 ndio Mungu kama atafanya haki ya mwisho sisi tunakwambia Francis Nana Brian Brandon familia sisi kama marafiki zenu we shall make sure that Lucy atapata justice the good news tumepata tukikaa hapa from court tulipofunga ile hospitali 
kwa sababu tulisema lazima ifungwe kwa sababu madaktari walifanyia dada yetu upasuaji hawana experience ya kufanyia mtoto wetu dada yetu surgery na complication zote za sister yetu Lucy zilitokea after surgery wacha ile ripoti yao bandia na sema ati ilikuwa ni pneumonia nashukuru mbao na marafiki wengine wote tulifanya investigation yetu chini ya maji tukachuma patients bwana kwa pale tukaangalia ni process ya gani mtu anafanyiwa akienda kwa surgery kawaida kila hospitali lazima uangalie kama uko na pressure kama uko na any condition pneumonia ukiona hiyo condition upeleke surgery so complications za dada yetu zilitoka na na hii hospitali bonoko body by design bado anajiita only care na post mortem report ya dr johansen ilisema the cause of death ni perforation of the intestines ndio ilileta shida kwa dada yetu walitobea mashimo makubwa ndani ya intestine zake walimdischarge after four days wakamwambia ende nyumbani kufika nyumbani kila kitu ilipasuka uchafu kaja kwa chumbo damu kila mahali ndio kinangana na brand walipona hiyo wakakimbisha dada yetu Nairobi hospital tumeona siasa mbaya mawakili wanaanza kucheza ati Nairobi hospital ndio ilifanya dada yetu akufe no tuko na postmortem na inaongea ukweli na nashukuru wanaitwa Nairobi tulishikana tukahakikisha hiyo hospitali imefungwa na serikali wakaifunga wametupeleka kwa chini na ngala na e, wizara husika na wale walifunga hospitali na leo asubuhi tulipokaa hapa mahakama imekataa kuwapatia order kwa hivyo hospitali itaendelea kufungwa na isitoshe tulikuwa kwa DCI jana because in criminal offense criminal negligence hamwezi cause kifo cha mama ya mzu kina Brian hawana mama wala hana bibi sisi marafiki dada yetu ameenda hatuwezi nyamaza jana ilikuwa tu wabebe wenye hospitali madaktari waende kamiti lakini ngana huyu roho yake ni kubwa sana akasema tafadhali songo atutaki drama tuzike dada yetu kwanza tuendelee na hiyo mambo mengine lakini sisi on behalf of the family on behalf of our friend ngana hao washezi wataenda jela hakuna story nyingine bila tulishikana na nchi ya Nairobi tukafunga hospitali ndio tutashika washezi tuwapeleka korokoroni asanteni sana Mwenyezi Mungu abariki mheshimiwa Rigiji kuwa strong pana tishwa tishwa na mtu thank you very much uh, thank you very much governor sonko you know a politician never lacks words Uh, I want to confirm that indeed Governor Sonko has been very very uh, instrumental in ensuring that we arrest the activities by Body by Design Kenya which is a registered business name do not be lied to by anyone 